Right, okay, we're under the front and we'll follow the uh, steering components all the way down to the wheels. So, if you come and have a look up here, we've changed angles now, obviously. There is the joint that goes into the steering box that we caught from the outside, and this is where the arm comes out. Drop arm, this is called. Okay, rock the steering, mate. All right, you can see the uh, UJ is flexing, twist rocking in, in and out of the gearbox now, uh, steering box now, but it's not translating into any movement at the end that the drop arm in. So as long as that is less than 75 millimeters at the wheel, um, <clears throat> you're, you're still passing. Right, okay, and um, we're gonna call this pan art rod part of the steering because technically it holds the axle uh, steady under the front. So these bushes here, these bushes here, uh, we'll look into that. This is one of the heavy duty uh, arms we're going to be replacing. It's definitely uh, about half the diameter of a normal one. We don't the centre steering damper because we put the um, suspension lift kit on it, terra firma suspension lift kit on it, and the um, cranked arms. So we're going to put a return to centre steering uh, damper on it. That'll be uh, interesting. And we'll see what we can do with the drop arms and stuff, replacement wise. Now, got a ball joint uh, track running there, and we've got a track running there. Rock the steering again, mate. Bit more. Right, okay. And that's the sort of where we're looking for. I hope you can see that. Okay, mate, cheers. There's some play in that joint. So that was the two I showed you earlier. We've got that covered. Right, now I'll drop the ramp and we'll show you the checks at the wheels. Okay, wrap the wheel and um, lift your wheel off the ground. You've only got to get it out far enough to get some sort of form of lever under there and if you just rock it top to bottom check for any movement play because the wheel bearing will affect your steering as well and that's all tight <clears throat> the next test we do on the MOT is a bar under there and we feel a lift so to the right please mate and what that will do is show any movement in your swivel housings and you play. There isn't on this because I've already uh, adjusted it on the um, service DVD and I'll show you how to do that as well. And um, the calipers are missing on this, you'll notice, because we're still filming uh, another part of the DVD. So on full lock, part of the steering, make sure the tyres don't touch anything. Full left lock, please, mate. Uh, with the power steering model, all the power steering checks Okay, no tyres are rubbing. All the power steering checks are done with the engine running. Turn the wheel straight. Now I can feel that's notchy, but obviously the engine's not running. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty much that. It's reasonably simple. And <clears throat> what we do now is get it back on the ramp and start looking at some more bits and bobs and changing them and upgrading them. Thanks. Thanks, Dean. <clears throat> right, we're back on the ramp. And uh, I thought I'd start with the